So the first fragrance on this list is relatively new, having been released in 2017. That being said, it's got old money credentials because it's based off a fragrance released in 1966 that transformed the men's cologne world. Now that 1966 release is Dior's Eau Sauvage. Not to be confused with the modern Sauvage line. No, the Eau Sauvage line became legendary because of the introduction and mix of citrus with lavender with a nice clean woody base. Considered a masterpiece fragrance, this was a staple worn by the rich and famous. Seriously, Tons of well-to-do men considered this their signature scent. All that being said, the fragrance I'm going to recommend is the Eau Sauvage Flanker that came out in 2017 Parfum. Now, as you can see here, I've made a dent in this bottle. I love this. The Accords are perfect for summer. We've got citrus, aromatic, a fresh, spicy, woody, lavender Accords with a bit of earthy notes. Elegant, modern, fresh, versatile. This is a signature worthy scent that definitely screams old money. Now, straight up, what does it even mean to smell like old money? Well, the term old money refers to a type of sophistication, of timelessness that is associated with families or individuals who have maintained their wealth over several generations. An old money man smells established. He's in charge and he isn't going anywhere. So the next old money fragrance on this list is from the House of Chanel. And no, it's not going to be Blue to Chanel, the EDT, the EDP, the Parfum, all of them amazing fragrances, but a bit overused. And it's not going to be Allure Homme Sport O Extreme or anything in the Allure line, which is a fine line. Maybe the original is a bit dated, but no, to be honest, I could have probably put any fragrance from the Chanel men's line on this list and you guys would have been fine with it because I'll just say it straight up. Chanel doesn't make a bad fragrance. Well, gentlemen, I'm going back to Chanel's 1990 release, Egoist. This is a unique, beautiful, absolute masterpiece. If you want a velvety, woody, spicy floral blend, this is the fragrance you've been looking for. It's timeless, unique, sophisticated, and it's got good longevity. I also think that if you're a younger guy in your 20s or 30s, this is one of the classic fragrances you can easily pull off and stand out from the crowd. Now, if someone were to ask me, what are the notes I expect in an old money type of fragrance, something classic, I would give you seven notes. The first one being citrus. This includes notes like bergamot, lemon, grapefruit. These are going to be invigorating. These are going to be fresh. They just give a feeling of cleanliness. So along that line, I'm going to be recommending two fragrances that at the top have a very nice citrus note. They've been out for a while, so you can even find these at discounters. Check out Dunhill Icon or John Varvatos's Artisan Pure. Now, both of these fragrances are solid summer scents. And as a bonus, both of them come in really cool, unique bottles. They also both have good longevity, which isn't the case for all citrus scents. And in my personal opinion, each of these are really safe fragrances if you're looking for a blind buy. Now, if you want something that you can pick up in stores, let's say you're at Sephora, you're at Ulta, definitely check out Dolce & Gabbana's light blue line, specifically Italian love. It's got a really strong, realistic grapefruit opening. It can be harsh for some, but again, you can try this out. You can smell it. I think it really cools down. It's a beautiful fragrance and it's relatively affordable. And since we're here talking about the Dolce & Gabbana line, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the one. This is a very popular selling fragrance for a reason. This thing is just, it exudes class. It's going to be more for cooler months. And when we look at the Accords, that makes sense. This is a warm, spicy, amber, tobacco, aromatic, citrus, sweet, woody fragrance. So naturally, a darker, heavier fragrance like this is going to be suited to cold weather. That being said, the spice and wood can also make this an old money fragrance. And that takes me to the next two notes we see in a lot of old money fragrances, woods, and spices. Now, when we're talking about woody fragrances, we're talking about cedar, sandalwoods, pines, and even vetiver. I know it's a grass, but technically in the fragrance world, it's oftentimes clumped in with woods. The thing with wood notes is they often give a feeling of warmth and depth, often associated with elegance. Now, the two fragrances I'm holding right here, Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud. A lot of people are going to feel this is pushing the edge. I still think this could be an old money fragrance. It's classic. It's been around for a while. They've written songs about this stuff. I really enjoy this one. But if this one's too much for you, check out one of Burberry's newest releases, that's going to be the Hero Eau de Parfum. Now, the EDT is decent, but I think the Eau de Parfum is even better, and it's got some really smooth, woody notes at the base, and that's what makes this such a universal, yeah, old money fragrance that doesn't cost a whole lot. Now, with spicy notes and old money, I feel it's a little bit trickier. So, over the last hundred years, they have definitely popped up in classic men's fragrances. And for a lot of people, they do send a signal of robustness and strength, but you got to be careful of fragrances that overuse pepper, that overuse cardamom, that use a bit too much cinnamon, because it can be overpowered. So, would I recommend Spice Bomb Extreme? as an old money fragrance? Maybe. This is definitely pushing the envelope. But if you want a spicy fragrance that's more wearable during the summer and something that flies under the radar, check out F 
by Ferragamo. Overall, this is a fresh, spicy, lavender, amber, fruity, leather, aromatic, green fragrance that's been around since 2007 and is a really fresh, clean, with a pepper note. You don't usually get that combination, and that's why I really like this spicy fragrance. And of course, it's got the woods at the base as well. The next set of notes we're going to talk about often associated with a gentleman, green notes, herbaceous notes. These notes include lavender, rosemary, and clary sage. Right off the top, two fragrances that fit this description that are very different from each other. We've got Creed, Green Irish Tweed, and we have Polo Green. So with Green Irish Tweed, it's been described as an invigorating blast of fresh, clean green. Stunning, masculine, creates a feeling of well-being. Despite being out since 1985, this fragrance does not smell dated and is one of the best old money fragrances on this list. But not to be outdone, we've got Polo Green, released in 1978. If you smell this, you will say, yes, I've smelled this before. Easily one of the best-selling fragrances for men of all time. And a relatively complex fragrance at that. More of a fall and winter fragrance. I know guys that wear this year-round. It is their go-to scent. I actually, a lot of guys. And that's what you're going to notice. It's distinctive. It is definitely a classic, been around, and has that old money smell to it. That being said, if those are too common for you, two lesser known options, Tom Ford's Beau de Jour, released in 2020. What I love about this is this is a modern old money scent that in the Tom Ford line, for some reason, a lot of guys look over. Floris 89, on the other hand, this fragrance is probably one of the oldest ones I'm talking about today. Classic, timeless, and popular with those that read in Fleming. Floris 89 is, uh, yeah, a fragrance that has been around, but nobody seems to know about it, unless you're James Bond fan. And at this point, I just realized that I skipped over vetiver fragrances. When it comes to old money, green, wood, vetiver, however you classify this, this is a classic scent for hundreds of years, probably even longer. Men have been adorning themselves with the smell of vetiver. And there's various types out there, various options when it comes to fragrances, two of the best. You've got perhaps the smoothest vetiver out there in Creed's original vetiver. But if you want something that's affordable and comes from a classic French house, check out Guerlain's Vetiver or even the Extreme Vetiver. And they smell the same, just the Extreme Vetiver is going to last a bit longer. And that takes us to earthy notes. We got the Vetiver, but also Oak Moss. And Oak Moss was a staple in men's fragrances for a long time because it helped the fragrance project and last longer. But it also led to men's fragrances being associated with this earthy type of smell. Now, two of the more popular earthy fragrances out there are going to be Hermes's H24 Eau de Parfum. This one just came out. Not my cup of tea. A little bit too much oak moss. If you want a little bit less oak moss, check out the uh, EDT, which has more of a metallic smell. I really like this one more than the uh, the EDP, but I am bringing up the EDP because it has that really oak moss. They're clear that this is one of the dominant notes. The other one that you want to check out, and this one has more of an earthy vibe to it, almost smells like dirt. Um, yes, that is going to be Terra Essence by Bulgari. Again, it's an acquired taste. It's not for everybody, but it definitely has a beautiful old money smell if that's your type of thing. Now, if you want an earthy fragrance that's a little bit more mainstream, very wearable, check out Gucci Guilty Absolute Pour Ohm. This one flies under the radar. Compared to the other flankers, everyone's like, ah, oh, what was this? This was a beautiful, earthy, old school type of fragrance and probably the most popular when it comes to earthy fragrances that will get you compliments, even with that dirty orange smell, is going to be Terre de Mez by Hermes. This is their flagship fragrance and a masterpiece. Now, really quick, a few fragrances I did not want to leave off this list. We got Penhelligan's Sartorial. If you are dressing up, you're wearing black tie, you're in London, this is the fragrance for you. Next up, you want to be more attractive. You want to draw in the ladies. You want that old school money vibe that's going to draw in the women. Guys, check out Angel Shares Killian. So, sweeter fragrances, fragrances that smell like vanilla, I didn't really put on this list because traditionally they're not old money, but this one is an exception. It's got that smoky, this one is absolutely beautiful. And if you just want something fresh to be able to wear to the beach that literally you could spray on multiple times, not overpower anyone and just smell amazing, check out Prada's Loam Water Splash. Oh, and because you guys are always giving me crap about not talking about niche fragrances, let's talk about Not Wilson's Chypre Fulluminaire. Now, this is a citrus, woody, amber, yellow floral, sweet, fresh, spicy, smoky, aromatic fragrance with a bit of leather and those earthy notes. Now, if you love old school, classic men's fragrances, I'm talking fragrance like Aramis and the classic Tom Ford Nure and even Chanel's Antaeus, you are going to love 
this one. It's not over the top animalistic. No, this is a true sheeper. The mix is beautiful. And what really sets it apart is the yang yang being so forward as it is. In a nutshell, it's a beautiful old money type of fragrance that is new, is modern, and no one else is going to be wearing. And two fragrances from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. Yes, how could I have forgotten about them? If you want to smell animalistic, manly, check out Koros. And if you want a sweet, smooth crowd pleaser that you can wear out with friends, La Nuit de l'Homme Eau de Parfum. Now, I know a lot of you guys watching this are like, come on, Antonio, how did you not have a Givenchy on this list? How did you not have a Parfums de Marley? Well, guys, come on. I got to make other videos. So, check out this video right here if you want to learn what are my go-to fragrances for this season. Guys, check out this video right here. I got you covered and I will probably have one of, maybe not this one, this one decent just came out. This one really good for summer, but uh, yeah, I cover more in this video right here.